In Informatica Developer, you can add a sequence generator transformation to a mapping when you want to generate numeric values. Use the sequence generator transformation to create unique primary key values or to replace missing primary keys. You can also use the transformation to cycle through a sequential range of numbers. In this demo, we use a sequence generator transformation to create unique values for a customer's flat file source. I've already added the data object as a source in a mapping. I've also run a profile on the data object to analyze the data for any irregularities. Let's view the results of the profile. We need a unique customer number for each customer. Let's select the customer number column to discover characteristics of the data in the column. Notice that 11 records have a value of null for the customer number. Now, let's analyze the data for customer number 6236. We'll double-click the value in the Details section. The Data Viewer runs and displays records where the Customer Number column contains the value 6236. Notice that one record has a different username. We'll need our mapping to generate unique Customer Number values for the records that contain null and for the records that contain non-unique values. Let's return to our mapping. The mapping reads from the customer's flat file data object. It writes to another flat file data object. Notice that the target has the same ports as the source, and an input port for the customer sequence number. We will add a sequence generator transformation to the mapping to generate the customer number. Right-click the editor and select Add Transformation. Select Sequence Generator and click OK. Enter a name for the Sequence Generator Transformation. Informatica Naming Convention Guidelines use an SEQ underscore prefix. By default, the Sequence Generator starts with 0 for the generated sequence. In this demo, we'd like to start with 1 for the first customer number. The end value specifies the maximum value that the Data Integration Service creates. We'll keep the default end value. We'll also keep the default increment value so that each consecutive value increments by 1. You can use cycle to generate a repeating sequence, such as numbers 1 through 12, to correspond to the months in a year. Since we need to create unique customer numbers, we will not select cycle. Let's click Finish to complete the transformation. The sequence generator transformation appears in the editor. It contains two output ports. The next vol output port generates the sequence based on the start value and increment value properties. The curval output port is next vol plus the increment value. You typically connect the curval port only when the next vol port is already connected to a downstream transformation. In this demo, we will only use the next vol output port. Next, we need to add pass-through ports to pass the value of the ports in the source through the sequence generator transformation. We'll add all of the source output ports to the transformation. We'll select a port in the source and then press Ctrl-A to select all the ports. Then we'll drag all of the ports to the transformation. The developer tool copies the ports and creates the links. Now we are ready to generate a sequence of numeric values for each row. Connect the next vol port to the customer sequence number input port in the downstream target. Since the remaining ports in the transformation and target have the same name, we'll link them by name automatically. Right click the editor and select Auto Link. We'll select the sequence generator transformation and the right data object and then click OK. The developer tool links the remaining ports by name. Now we can use the Data Viewer view to preview the transformation. Preview the transformation to ensure that the data is processed as expected. Click Run to preview the data. The Data Integration Service reads the data and it displays the output in the Data Viewer view. The data looks correct. We need to verify that our mapping is valid. Right-click the editor, 
and select Validate. Our mapping is valid, so we'll save the mapping. Informatica Developer includes a cheat sheet that explains how to generate a sequence of numeric values. Click Help, then click Cheat Sheets, and select the cheat sheet called Create a Sequence of Numeric Values. That completes this demo. To summarize, we viewed the profile results for a flat file data object, added a sequence generator transformation to an existing mapping, configured how the transformation generates a sequence of numeric values, and created pass-through ports in the transformation. If you have feedback on this demo or to request a demo on another topic, email us at infa underscore documentation at informatica.com. You can also tweet us on the Infa Support Twitter site.